वेलकम बैक डियर लर्नर्स वी आर बैक विद द विटामिन बी कॉम्प्लेक्स सीरीज एंड आर टूडेज विटामिन इज पायरिडॉक्सिन दैट इज विटामिन बी सिक्स नाउ एज यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेज यू कैन सी द डायट्री सोर्सेज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर विटामिन दैट इज पायरिडॉक्सिन वी कम अप टू द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस विटामिन विटामिन बी सिक्स इज यूज टू कलेक्टिवली रिप्रेजेंट थ्री कंपाउंड नेमली पायरिडॉक्सिन pyridoxal and pyridoxamine now here you will find that the uh, suffix you please see pyridoxin oxin pyridoxal oxal and pyridoxamine that is amine so pyridoxin is a primary alcohol pyridoxal is an aldehyde while pyridoxamine is a amine that is protein pyridoxamine is mostly present in plants while pyridoxal and pyridoxamine is found in animal food so here you will see there are some plant sources and some uh, animal sources the active form of vitamin b6 is the coenzyme pyridoxal phosphatase plp pyridoxal phosphate pyridoxamine can be converted into pyridoxal and pyridoxamine but the latter two cannot be converted into pyridoxine this pyridoxine is highly soluble in water and it is readily destroyed by exposure to light but it is stable to heat now you come to a conclusion that many of these uh, vitamin b complex they are stable to heat but they are destroyed when they are exposed to light the function of this is the conversion of muscle and liver glycogen into glycogen phosphate pyridoxal phosphate is required for the synthesis of delta amino leucolinic acid the precursor for heme synthesis now if you recollect the video on synthesis of hemoglobin there in the video i have shown you a flow chart where succinyl coa and glycine in the presence of ala synthesis gets converted into alpha amino beta keto adipic acid and in the presence of ala synthesis it gets converted into delta amino leucolinic acid here pyridoxal phosphatase is required for the synthesis of delta amino leucolinic acid and this is required as a precursor for heme synthesis the synthesis of certain specialized products such as serotonin histamine niacin coenzyme from the amino acid is dependent on pyridoxine that means ye sare jo synthesized ke products hai ye sab bhi ye coenzyme ke upar dependent hai that is plp pyridoxal phosphatase and this also participate in reactions like transamination decarboxylation deamination transferation condensation etc b6 is an energy releasing vitamin and this act as a coenzyme for the synthesis of various neurotransmitters like non epinephrine dopamine and histamine etc so this vitamin has many functions it also play an important role in metabolism of sulfur containing amino acid plp is needed for the absorption of amino acid from the intestine adequate intake of vitamin b6 is useful to prevent hyperoxaluria which is characterized by an increased urinary excretion of oxalate and urinary stone formation agar wo excrete nahi hua to wo kidney mein accumulate hote rahega aur wo kidney stone form karega the synthesis of niacin coenzyme which we saw in the earlier vitamin nad and nadp from tryptophan is dependent on this plp that means vitamin b6 ka bhi kaam aata hai the recommended dietary allowance of this vitamin is approximately 2 mg during pregnancy and lactation the intake increases up to 2.5 mg per day synthesis of vitamin b6 by intestinal bacteria in man is limited therefore it is necessary that its adequate supply in the diet is met so in the diet you would get highest concentration in royal jellies bees egg yolk fish milk 
meat are rich sources of vitamin B6. Germinal seeds, whole grains, cereals, bananas, corn, cabbage, roots and tubers are the good sources of vegetables. Though there are no definite manifestations established in B6, several possible disorders are observed which leads to epileptic form convulsions where it occurs in infants when vitamin B6 is deficient, hypochromic microcytic anemia, a reversible type of anemia develops where there is vitamin B6 deficiency. The anemia improves after administration of vitamin B6. Why is this hypochromic? Because this is a necessary vitamin hai for heme synthesis. So hemoglobin is less, so its color will be less. For this, it is hypochromic. Anemia. Nausea and vomiting in pregnancy has been reported to occur due to B6 deficiency. It is suggested that B6 deficiency is created because of the diversion of vitamin to the increasing demand of the fetus. Pyridoxin deficiency occurs in patient receiving high doses of tuberculostatic drugs and they develop neuritis and neuropathies. So these were the four group of symptoms which could suggest vitamin B6 deficiency namely epileptic form convulsions particularly in infants, hypochromic microcytic anemia, nausea and vomiting in pregnancy and neuritis, neuritis and neuropathy in the patient receiving high tuberculostatic drugs. Here we come up to the end of this video related to vitamin B6 that is pyridoxine. I hope you have got sufficient knowledge related to this vitamin particularly and you have liked it. Thanks for watching.